The Advent season is one of wonder. For so many people, it's a time of hopeful and joyful anticipation. It's a season of promise. But for many of us, especially those of us gathered here online worship, we gather not so much in hopeful anticipation, but in the cloud of, of despair. While so many people are ready to sing joy to the world, we gather with grief and sorrow. We gather now to take a time of quiet reflection. We gather to know that we are not alone, whether this is the first Christmas without someone you love, or if you seem to be hurting from loss for as long as you remember, we gather to be reminded that this is okay to mourn and grieve, even at Christmas. So, friends, if you feel like you have life difficulties and challenges, please remember this Blue Christmas service is for you and Jesus came to save you, came to give you hope and joy. Come, Holy Spirit, comfort us and all who grieve this night. Give us strength to shed tears as we must. Help us receive your healing in the midst of our pain and find a new order after the chaos of loss. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Come to the 
in this season of anticipation, we seek the comfort of the Holy Spirit. We ask for your blessing this night upon those that mourn, for the pain at Christmas seems sharper. We remember the words of Jesus who promised comfort to those that mourn. All around us are reminders of the joy that the world tells us we are supposed to be feeling. Forgive us, O oh God, for not joining in the celebration with our whole hearts. Guide us now, O oh Holy One, that we may move in still small steps from mourning to comfort. Help us to find healing in the midst of the pain and order in the midst of chaos. Lighten our burden. Give us rest. Amen. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth. And I'm reading from Psalm 80, verses 1 through 7. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. 
O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be hungry and angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You make a scorn of ourselves, our enemies laugh among them. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. From the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 32 through 39. But recall those earlier days when, after you had been enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to abuse and persecution, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion for those who were in prison, and you cheerfully accepted the plundering of your possessions, knowing that you yourselves possess something better and more lasting. Do not, therefore, abandon that confidence of yours. It brings a great reward. For you need endurance, so that what you have done, <clears throat> the will of God, you may, receive, you may receive what was promised. For yet, in a very little while, the one who is coming will come and will not delay. But my righteous one will live by faith. My soul takes no pleasure in anyone who shrinks back. But we are not among those who shrink back and so are lost, but among those who have faith and so are saved. Now the reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28, 29, and 30. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light.
We pray for all who seek you for restoration and all who eat the bread of sorrow. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you. We pray for all who are sick, weak, and worn down. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you. We pray for the sufferings of our ecosystems and our fellow creatures. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you. We pray for all who are abused and afflicted and all those imprisoned, especially for the sake of the gospel. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. We pray for all who have experienced loss through death, separation, or the ending of relationships. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. We pray for the gifts of faith, hope, and endurance. shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. We pray for the forgiveness of our sins. shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The book of Psalm chapter 30 says, You have turned my sorrow into joyful dancing. Jesus came and turned their sorrow, despair, into something joyful and hopeful like this. This evening, we remember this great salvation work of Jesus. Jesus came and brought his freedom, hope, and joy to his people. And the Jesus is still living God today. He comes to us to change us, to change our life. Jesus comes to us and clothes us with his eternal and unconditional joy and hope so we can find peace in Jesus Christ. If there is anyone in deep sorrow, despair, or any other life challenges, please know that Christmas is for you. Jesus is coming for you. Jesus is, the Christmas is to celebrate the baby Jesus coming to the world. And Jesus came to the world to save us, to save those who are in sorrow and despair. Jesus brings his joy, hope, peace, and love to us. We are talking about joy a lot in Christmas season. Joy for whom? Jesus brings his eternal joy, unconditional joy, to those who are in sorrow and despair. Those who need his salvation. Please remember, Jesus came to each of you, no matter what life situations you are in right now. Jesus knows you and your life. And Jesus can save you with his almightiness. Jesus, let you find and discover his wonderful joy for you again. Jesus recovers, recreates joy for you. Please believe in this. The comfort, joy, and presence of Jesus be with you this evening. God bless you all. This reading is from Psalms 103 verses 8, 13, 14, and 17 and 18. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to the faithful. For the Lord knows our frame and remembers that we are dust. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon the faithful and the righteousness of the Lord to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. Friends, you have seen the Savior, Messiah, go now into this longest night, knowing that the love of Christ and of his people, a love without end. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you forever and ever. Amen.